18 NBA players indicted with the with the health care scheme. Estimated around four million dollars. The money, the scheme, none of that was what jumped out. It was the it was the it was the players that were on the list that did it for me, G. Bro, some of my dogs was on there. It was that one. It was that one uh, Clippers team and uh, Cleveland Cavaliers team. Right. So I was like, yep, yep. <laughs> this is what we doing. Like that Cavs team that Brian uh, came in on, <laughs> and then that Clippers team, bro. That. Uh, was it Clippers or Portland that got called like the all the niggas that was smoking and shit? Portland. Okay, it was Portland. All right, so yeah, it was one of them. But the what? Clippers team too. Honest, honest. What were your your first react? What was your honest first reaction? Not, not you had the day to walk around with. What, what, what went through your mind when it popped? When that headline popped up? No lie, the, name, the names that was on the list, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Oh, hey, God, I knew that shit. Hey, no lie, when I saw that list, I was like, bro, I wasn't surprised by a name on that list. Bro. Even if I didn't know who that was, if I was just reading the name, I'm like, oh, yeah, bro, that's that's a given. That day for sure saw the opportunity. <laughs> you know, the great gas, he's like, I don't know, I guess he saw the opportunity, I suppose. Like, <laughs> who the oh, fuck man. knows, bro? Like, oh, my gosh. That was the first reaction. But uh, also, like, a like secondary one was just that, fuck, like, this is something that, that's been ongoing with, uh, not to put a you know light on this one, but this is just these cases in general. Right. This is something that my family has to deal with as far as how hard it is for them to get uh, like the unemployment, right. the, uh, uh, like their health care stuff. Cover like California, the, yep, yep. Yeah, all their coverage or whatever, how hard it is for them to get it when they actually need it. Right. And then we right. got the scammers right. out here living their best lives right. that then like sullied the whole market or whatever where they not giving it to the people that actually need that shit. Right. Which is like, the that's the unfortunate take that I take from it because I'm right. just like, bro, I got family that really, really needs money right now right. Um, that can't do anything about it because of their medical situation right now. Right. And it's folks out here eating off of some shit that is not true uh, just because. And that that got pushed through. And, I, and I, then I started to think deeper into it. Like, there has to be a reason for that, though. Like, there, there has to be a tracking mechanism that says that we're going to give out a certain amount of money mm-hmm. uh, to fake shit in order to indict them later. Uh, for some um, some odd reason, so right. I'm trying to figure out what that what that is. But there has to be something like that, right? Because these things don't go missed. You know what I mean? Like right. it's not like eventually it comes to light. Right. But there has to be a reason why there's so much, especially during a pandemic, why it was overwhelming amounts I, of it. I think the context, the proxy, we've been talking about proximity and context. Mm-hmm. I think is important for you because you're not just speaking on some conspiracy shit. The business no, that no, you're no. in. You've had to interface with this type of scam scamming like one on one over and over. Okay, so my bad. I, I, yeah. I just wanted to put add that to your point. You yeah, know? over yeah. and over. But like, yeah, that's that's just my thought process on it. Is like there's there's something there's a underlining reason for why right. so many of them are going unnoticed right. initially, and you think that you're hitting the lick, and you think that this is you know what I mean, and it's it, unfortunately the people that actually need it actually get fucked over hmm. and. You know, I don't know what that looks like either on the back end on like how long those people even survive with their lack of funds that come in for shit that they actually need when they can't actually do anything about it. Right. Bro, I don't know. But that's that just goes into like how these things go, you know, like they don't think that I know y'all think that money is just like some shit that is real and like, you know, you can't like uh, once you have it, you have it and by the Bro, I I believe that money has tracking mechanisms on it, mm-hmm. and there and you just don't get away like like fucking paper money, no. But like the transaction, transaction of money, absolutely, that mm-hmm. shit all has tracking. Yeah, you know what I mean? We've been st- we've been we've been really really diving into NFT, uh, crypto, trying to understand those spaces a lot more, especially as creatives. Um, salute to salute to Brittany, uh, Jenkins out in Philly. Um, salute to Tara, Asan. Um, there's some real factors we've got access to that's really been trying to shake shit up, but do it through the lens of creators. And to your point about the scam and shit, G, it's it's really it's really really scarce out here, for like for real. And so, your brain went to that, my brain went to yo. How fucked up it does it have to be if ex NBA players 
is having to figure out a finesse. What like so people some people would argue, yo, they finesse into a sustained lifestyle. That's fine. What they're doing it for is a whole nother fucking wormhole. But the idea that it has to happen means that it's really sick out here. Uh when the NBA extended their uh their credit limit of what they could do, I was like, wait. The NBA is operating on credit. We need to we need to ask ourselves a completely different question about how we giving it up in life. And then the uh, the finance guru was like, "I mean, I don't have no fucking debit card. Yeah. My kids don't have no debit card. We only yeah, use credit." It. And said it proud, and I was like, "Oh." So back to nineteen keys and like, bro, y'all really understand how money work or no? Nah? For real, for real. You know what I'm saying? And that, and that that's really what got me thinking and b said it on our call last week it's like bro it's people that want to be rich wealthy and famous and can't can't manage sixteen thousand dollars let alone 16 million that shit hit like a ton of bricks because it really is real like you can't even take care you can't take care of this what you gonna do when you get on outside of have to revert back to scamming when you when you didn't touch a few m's already that was hard. That part of it was heartbreaking for real. And that's not to say that them, that's some folks. Um, it's not an indictment of the players themselves. It's an indictment of the structure and the lack of education in and around money. So for shit, if it is only a uh, rapper, rapper shoot the basketball nigga. Let's can we make sure that they're equipped to sustain this access to these resources? Like, can we can we at least provide that? Um, yeah, and then. True. It is a reason why in America, though, that there isn't, like, you know, those courses aren't just regularly accessible. You right. know what I mean? Like right. the... like the There is indeed. Correct. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, right. we need you to be a cog and get put right into the system to give a right back. So. Right. Or at least owe us in the meantime. Like, we, more so, we want you to owe us. Like, don't even give it back. Just owe us. We need to always show that we got this amount of money, this, this amount that is owed to us so we can, you know, leverage that to our next bag. 